we have a continuing discussion about things that I find interesting. The insights, guys. Do the next insights. So the Creeper's Forge is a pretty interesting concept now. I guess I found another thing for it. Calm down, guys. All right, so so the creepers forge. I see two problems to discuss, and then we're gonna discuss perhaps what's what happens uh, next after the brothers separate. They see, oh my village get destroyed. Oh my god. Now, the hero child, the fable's grandchild, I suppose. So, it has been a lot of time passed. Now, let, let me just deal with the two issues that I have in my mind. I have vaccines. I don't know. At this point, it's just retarded. Talk about vaccines. Retarded. Because you cannot simulate a virus in a lab. It's always going to change and very likely going to get worse. There is uh, plenty of defenses of the body, and it mainly linked to stress. And the more you stress, the, the shittier your, your immune system becomes, and you're more likely to get diseased. So if you stress, you gotta you gotta find a cool environment, and that's how you relax. It's one of those things that people do, perhaps they travel, I don't know. I think traveling would kind of increase the immune system. There's different experience. It's more like a holiday thing. It's like get, getting stronger. But, uh, yeah, generally you... You really need to relax after work, otherwise you do do have a risk of getting a nasty virus. And it's all linked to still the psychological realm of psychology, basically. Because of stress. Stress is linked with the uh, immune system strength, apparently. And it definitely makes sense. I mean, if you think about energetically, if you have less energy, you're going to not be able to deal with the protection that well. You're going to use energy to survive in, in the first place and hope that protection will not be required that much. So that's pretty much it, but if you bake viruses in a the lab, then you're not going to get the exact thing that you're trying to protect yourself from. And at the same time, there's just so many of them. So what the fuck are these guys doing in the first place? You have to simulate good... Uh, stressless experience for people instead of actually trying to recreate viruses and here take take this motherfucker it's like watching a conspiracy video where you just asleep but you're about to get awoken you gotta be calmed down at this point in order to properly consume content 
They're supposed to teach you something important, but very hard to handle. It's a similar position. You come into a hospital or whatever, it's already stressful. It's like ridiculous. It's already a stressful environment. Uh, sometimes it's not. It's like, oh yeah, they're going to help me out. But, well, it depends on your perspective, whether it's stressful or not, but mostly it is. Regardless, and it's a job environment as well. It's careless a little bit, a little bit careless. You can imagine like the parallel between creepers and uh, vaccines as well. And maybe there are more parallels out there where we try to simulate some environment, perhaps schools themselves do the same thing. We simulate a wrong environment. And we think like, oh, why, why don't people learn anything? I don't know what we think at this point because we are complaining. So we just don't have the power. We are not a community. We have never get, had power ever. Government did that. And it kind of like shows how fucking powerless we are at this point to change things, even though we have choices and all that crap. It's kind of fucked up. Everything is controlled by the Creeper's Forge. Oh man, that that's another reason why to why you need to get to the source of things. And so my village get destroyed now. Now we have a problem. Now we're gonna destroy the Creeper's Forge itself. Or take it over at least. And uh, fix those Creepers at this point. Because they've gone way too far in the wrong direction. Without Mr. Creep being aware. It's like, Mr. Creep is gonna give awareness to people. But at the same time he has to be aware himself. Of what he's doing. So... Yeah, not 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 that good. But at the same time, he can blame other people for not understanding things the way it's meant to be done. Oh, if you're not stressed at school, you can totally find things to do. You know, you're surrounded by people. I mean, you have to just be creative a little bit. You can totally like eat vaccines. It doesn't matter if it's lab lab baked, it's still a virus, it's still a stressful thing for our body to take. All you have to do is remove stress from your life at that very moment and you're gonna be ready to take on this vaccine challenge. Hey guys, I am filming right now a vaccine challenge. Let's go do some vaccines. Oh my god. Let's go do some vaccines. I challenge you into the vaccine challenge. Ha! <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. I'm not kidding, actually. It makes sense. Uh. Okay, so we dealt with that. There was something about relationships. Um, yeah, there was one girl who introduced herself. My friend kind of said, oh, you should want to talk with that girl because she seems to be very smart though. and it really kind of confused me for what the situation is really then uh, of course he took over the relationship or whatever or created it i don't care but he, at the very first time he felt so insecure like oh he recommended me to talk with her and shit, that's, that, that was pretty cute, I'm not sure exactly how it works, yet, that's one of those mysterious things that happened, a recommendation, what the fuck is that, but, what she did, she looks at the profile, she says, uh, oh, 
if he's like a creationist, then holy shit. If he is like against vaccines, holy shit. Yeah, she has set up opinions. She's very scared of uh, anti-opinions. Because she's so determined. Holy shit, I'm so smart, right? At the same time, who do you keep authority for? Whatever you keep authority for, it's like, oh, if you should talk with the Charles Darwin then, blah, blah, blah. You see, the problem is, you have to have a relationship with the authority. Otherwise, you can't believe them. You, you just can't. They don't give a fuck about you. See what I'm talking about? See why relationships are so important? You have no influence in their behavior at all, and yet you still believe them. It is ridiculous. You're not supposed to believe in anything. You're supposed to be skeptical about any outside from your ability to make relationships. That's, that's the first rule, guys. Anything outside of you and your relationships is is potentially very harmful, potentially, especially me, okay, especially me, if you don't talk to me, it's like, fuck off, man, of course, you're gonna, you're gonna have to watch, get familiar, be skeptical, it's gonna simulate your own experience, which is amazing to have a relationship with yourself, that's always a good thing, especially videos, like this, it's like, they're not attacking anyone, specifically, so... I'm just talking to myself, the same way you can do that. To yourself, ask the same questions. Uh, I'm just bringing ideas out, you can... You can be skeptical about them. And if there's something you want to tell me, then, yeah. Make sure it's hateful, and send it my way. Oh, man. Ah. Yes. Yeah, hateful because you don't have to be skeptical about that. It's like, that's, that's how it is. It is full of skepticism. It is supposed to be. Because we're strangers in the first place. So the Creeper's Forge, guys. It's full of... It's kind of like a stranger's force, forge. It creates a lot of strangers, strange things in life that may explode in your face or do some kind of benefit if you're not stressed, if you can prop properly manage the situation. So that's, that's the difference. That's the cool part of a creeper's design in the first place. Um, it can just insta-kill you, actually. It's so ridiculous. If you're just not aware at all of what's up. Insta-kill. That is so beautiful. Hey, dude, you get insta-killed. Welcome to the Peter's Forge. Uh, is Hero Brian uh, a part of the the story he's supposed to be right like we have to make make room for him as well he's uh, the part of every story in minecraft so let's let's think what the hero brian is supposed to be perhaps the hero brian is the hero that will defeat the creepers forge at some point and decentralize the creepers and create the minecraft that we know today without the Creeper's Forge and still with a bunch of biomes and shit mm, mm. is that how it goes? I'm not sure seems like a good pitch but then he's like he like himself becomes mad in this trollish things although it's not very well stated what exactly here Brian is doing is just watching what everyone else is 
is doing in Minecraft is like mm, big deal. Are you supposed to be like an authority figure or something? Or embody the Creeper's Forge since it's gone or something? Oh, that that shit is... Well, we'll, we'll figure out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put this in a story just yet. It's, it's really actually awkward. Neil Brian is just so awkward right now. It doesn't have much of a story, it just gets, gets constantly removed. And he's just watching and coming back. So there's some kind of hidden intention. But I still have to figure out what what would be fun for an intention to, to be and where should it occur in the first place. So let's not put him as a hero, obviously. Unless something happens and the hero becomes Hero Brian. Actually, what is Brian in the first place? Like, what? Uh, I suppose I first have to answer that question. Ah, oh, the Creeper's Forge, you guys. So we travel across different biomes, different areas, setting up camps, uh, defeating challenges and vaccines of those different places, man. You gotta defeat those vaccines. You gotta make those vaccine challenges. And then you approach the Creeper's Forge. Now I wanted to like create something as well. Some kind of creature for the Creeper's Forge. It's like someone else have already came to the source before you did. Someone was much more uh, much faster, but naturally faster. Some kind of, you know, girl. Just to have this stupid romance in every single story. Um, should I add a girl? Because you spawn as Steve. It's like so stupid. Where were all the girls? So I wouldn't say like Minecraft is actually past Creeper's Forge. It's more like before or something I don't know it's leading up to Creeper's let's say Creeper's Forge destroyed Minecraft mm, that's the best story 